Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 10th to the 16th of August 2015. So we're coming out of a big alignment, 888, and the middle degree of Leo, where at the end of last week we had a number of glorious aspects as Jupiter and Venus were both hovering over the fixed star Regulus. So that's not something that could really be explained, that was something just to be felt and that feeling should continue well into the week. But to sum it up, that's all about knowing yourself and radiating your sovereignty, your true essence. So getting rid of all the mental, psychological programming and stepping into that golden space of knowing. So that continues this week as we go forwards. So Mercury's just stepped into Virgo. We start to feel that energy come in this week as well. So Mercury rules Virgo, and Virgo is all about the harvest cycle, the virgin from seed to fruit, the gestation period of nine months, and even the school year still fits into that schedule. So with Mercury and Virgo, Mercury is the processing mind, time, small steps towards big change and Virgo is doing everything at the right time, all the small detail pieces to reach the bigger picture, to reach that reward of the harvest or the gestation, the birth as it were. So Virgo the Virgin, the symbol for Virgo is the mother and child and Virgo is an earth sign so this ties us right back into the agricultural cycles of time and then how we apply those in our lives. So with Mercury and Virgo, we get on point, we can start to see all the detail, we can start to uh, arrange ourselves and do everything at the right time, in the right place, and know what we're building towards. This normally would be a full steam ahead aspect, this would be planning and plotting for the next cycle, except for the fact that we have quite a few planets going retrograde as well. So I feel the best way to work with this for now is to see the bigger picture, to see where we're heading and all the things that we need to do, but very much base that on the fact that Venus is retrograde. So at the moment we're returning to desires of the past, to joy, to simplicity and to what really matters and what we really value. So we can't plot a full course forwards because there will be some changes during this Venus retrograde taking us back to appreciate what we've left by the wayside, the joy, the simplicity and the warmth so we can reconnect with that and put the energy back into our plans. So we're not really working, pushing forwards like rats in a wheel just for the sake of productivity, we're actually building a slow plan going forwards of something that really matters to us. So that realignment with Mercury going direct into Virgo and Venus retrograde in Leo is saying, well, okay, you can build a skeletal structure maybe of what it is that you're working towards, but don't push forwards too quickly because we're actually going back to reconnect with the joy of it all, with the motivation and with what really fires us up. On Tuesday we also have Jupiter going into Virgo. So Jupiter's been in Leo for a whole year, very much that liony, regulus, sovereign journey that we've been on for the last year and now Jupiter goes into Virgo. So Jupiter's saying, okay, well, we're going to put all of that radiance into the plan. We're going to stand in our plan. It needs to be ours, not somebody else's. And it needs to be something that we can build on for a whole year because Jupiter will be in Virgo for a year. Jupiter and Mercury both in Virgo, they kind of rule how we learn and what we do with that wisdom. So Mercury is the processing mind and Jupiter is the knowledge that we get from the learning. It's the pupil and the master. So there's a great feel of mastery coming in for this year. Everything that we've been through, everything that we've learnt in the past Jupiter cycles over the last few years can now actually be put into effect. And with Venus retrograde, like I say, that will be reconnecting to make it meaningful and heartfelt. So there may be a drive this week to pick up a sturdy subject that you can put your back into, something that you can really learn from and something that you can take your time and grow with, just like the crops grow from seed to fruit. By the time we get to the middle of the week, we have some lovely alignments with Venus and Uranus. So 
when we go back and we look at what fires us up, with Uranus retrograde at a beautiful angle as well, there may be some surprises in there. There may be some surprise awakenings or realizations or triggers or excitements of, oh yes, that's what I really care about. I've forgotten about that. That's what I really would love to do going forwards. And Uranus is the planet that rules Aquarius so this might even trigger us to take our plans to take our loves and desires and how we can actually apply those to making the world a better place to the vision to how we can actually use our energies collectively while remaining individuals but what it is that we're doing and how that fits into the bigger all so that's really exciting because we're very much programmed to just plan for ourselves in a state of fight, flight, survival. What do I need to do this year to get money? What do I need to do this year to promote myself? Uh, this is very much more how does what I care about actually get applied in the bigger picture? How can I be a part of the group? How can I take all that I love and all that I know and all that I'm learning about and actually be part of a change going forwards? How do I fit into that bigger picture of the age of Aquarius? So keep your antennae up around Wednesday time because there may be some awareness coming in of why you're doing what you're doing, not just for you, but for how that actually fits into the greater time wheel of the ages of the zodiac and what you've come here in this lifetime to do and to contribute. So that's a big one, but probably come through in a quiet realization. Although it may be that you meet somebody and all of a sudden the penny drops or the light bulb goes on above your head, but some kind of surprise realization coming in midweek to what you're actually here to do in the bigger picture. Things slow down by Thursday as we enter the dark moon in Cancer. So we have the new moon which starts a two week window of new energy. And we have the full moon which is ripe for reflection and possible reward. But when we work with the dark moon we realise that we need to release anything of the last lunar cycle which is the last month. So since the new moon in Cancer we've learnt lots but we don't need to drag everything forward we don't need to drag all the scenarios and all the uh, situations forward we just need to cleanse those out now what was the point what did I learn is there anything inside of me that can go now as I take the seed forward but I don't drag all the baggage with me so Thursday is probably looking quite emotional it's going to feel much more like last month like all the energy in cancer bringing up our subconscious emotions but this is very much stay within stay deep and cleanse cleanse anything that you don't want to take forward so that by Friday when we step over into the new moon in Leo we start a very golden two-week window where we start to really feel these golden energies in true effect and this is why I feel that all the energy from last week with Regulus and Venus and Jupiter all passing over that sacred point in Leo that may come to a wholeness by Friday that may start to make sense and then we can start to build upon that and really kindle that inner flame really start working with that warmth and that joy and reconnecting with that on a much bigger level we've got lots of backwards and forwards really we've got Mercury forwards into Virgo Jupiter forwards into Virgo uh, dark moon in Cancer and new moon into Leo that's all very forward energy but just to remind ourselves that we've also got um, Venus retrograde and Uranus retrograde saying, well, hang on a minute, go back before you go forward and reconnect to what matters to us and where we stand and what the purpose of it is. So that when we do step forward in September and October, we actually know fully what the rocket fuel behind our motivation that fuels our plans is and we can step forward there with some real gusto and finally in the background we've also got Saturn moving in the last couple of weeks in Scorpio clearing up a two and a half year cycle of us really exploring our subconscious so if we remember that on Thursday in the dark moon in Cancer if you remember that this is a clearing up phase the subconscious has needed a good old clean out so to do that work and to let go and to carry on releasing 
those lessons, then we're ready to step forward into the new school year. We're ready to step forward and learn some new lessons from a place of greater discipline and control and dignity and uh, discernment. So lots of energy that this week, every day something different, so maybe don't try to think about it too much but just feel into it. The general gist is that there's a plan forming, there's going to be something big to learn this year, something meaningful and something that's part of our life purpose and how we actually fit in here, what we came to do, but very much no need for direct action carry on that cleansing with the dark moon, carry on that realisation and that strengthening of core strength with Saturn in Scorpio and get ready to connect with what's really meaningful because in a couple of weeks this will all come together so beautifully and we can start to set those intentions from a very sovereign place and step forward into the new cycle. So those are the horoscopes for this week and I'll see you next week. If you'd like to follow these alignments more closely, then I do have a write-up for each day on my webpage, which is www.astrozo.com. And if you'd like to discuss them and be part of a growing private group, then I'm offering a private space where people can join for the year and actually have contact with me. So it's like having your own personal online astrologer set some interesting discussions we've been talking about 888 we've been talking about nasa's footage of the moon and we'll be talking very much going forwards about the meaning of these blood moons and the prophecies and the major alignments that are coming up in september so if you'd like to join in with that group then come along to astrozo.com membership group and drop me an email introduce yourself and you can become part of a lively and relevant daily discussion and also see how these alignments fit to your charts so that you can start to apply them for yourself. So I'd love to meet you. That's www.astrozo.com.